Dr. Bishop, special day. You have a visitor. Hello. I knew someone would come eventually. Human brain generates a quantifiable electric field. I posited in 1976 that it is possible to synchronize the fields of two distinct minds to allow the sharing of information across the unconscious state, uh, like a string between two tin cans. You know what's great about that is that it's completely insane. You're saying I can talk to John in a coma and he can tell me what the suspect looks like. It's not an exact it's science. It's not even science. Have you done this before? I have used this technique to extract information from a corpse once. You can do that if they haven't been dead for longer than six hours. Right, because after six hours, that's when they're really dead. You could access his memories, assuming there's no brain damage. Of course, you'd have to have an electromagnetic probe placed in the base of your skull whilst immersed without clothing in the old tank. And you'd be heavily drugged. What sort of drugs? Oh, a mix of ketamine, neurontin, lysergic acid, diethylamide. That last one's LSD, by the way. Acid? It'll take at least a few hours. I'd need your help to synthesize it if it's not too much Yeah, trouble. sure, no problem. That sounds like fun. The, the man who was just released from the mental institution, he wants to give you a drug overdose, then stick a metal rod into your head and put you naked into a rusty tank of water. No, I don't want to. No, no I'd rather not. I'm just saying I can. Okay, Olivia. <laughs> Excuse me for a sec. Now, you're obviously under severe duress, and you haven't slept since Iraq, and the man you care about might die, but I'm telling you, that man will kill you. You don't understand the procedure. John would do it for me. Set it up. I'll get DHS authorization to bring John here. <laughs> this, is, this is unbelievable. This is insane. He is insane, and you're insane for following him. Excellent. Let's make some LSD. 